To position the cables correctly, change the robot's position. See the table below for guidance. Cut the air tube at the right length, 850 millimeters or 32 inches. Connect the 8 millimeters air tube to the vacuum generator. Ensure the safety clip is properly installed. Plug the other extremity of the air tube into your local air supply device. The recommended pressure is 7 bar, 100 psi. Cut the spiral cable wrap into three sections. Two cable management sleeves are provided. There is one for the arm and the other for the forearm of the robot. Each sleeve has two hook and loop Velcro fasteners. One to close the sleeve and another to hold wires in place. Install the first sleeve by following these steps. Wrap a sleeve around the arm of the robot. Tighten the sleeve and close the first hook and loop fastener. Push the sleeve until it touches the next joint of the robot, and then rotate the sleeve so the first hook loop and fastener are facing up. This will ensure good positioning of cables inside the sleeve. To install the second sleeve, wrap the other sleeve around the forearm of the robot. Tighten the sleeve and close the first hook and loop fastener. Push the sleeve until it touches the next joint of the robot and then rotate the sleeve so that second hook and loop fastener are facing up. This will ensure that cables are positioned correctly. Install the four pieces of double-sided tape as follows. Remove the protective layer from one face of a piece of double-sided tape. In the first sleeve, apply the piece of double-sided tape to one end of the second hook and loop closure. Repeat for the other end. This will prevent the cables from moving around inside the sleeve. Do not close this second hook and loop fastener yet. At the robot's wrist if you're using the extra reach bracket, take the 965mm spiral cable wrap. If you're not using the extra reach bracket, take the 765mm spiral cable wrap. Position the spiral cable wrap so the last 150mm can be inserted in the second sleeve. At the other end, install a tie wrap at the point where you'll start Insert the wires in the spiral cable wrap. Remove the remaining protective layer of the double-sided tape. Close the hook and loop fastener completely on the second sleeve. At the robot's elbow take the 730mm spiral cable wrap. Position the spiral cable wrap so the first 150mm can be inserted in the second sleeve, and the last 150mm can be inserted in the first sleeve. Insert the wires in the spiral cable wrap. Remove the remaining protective layer of the double-sided tape. Close the second hook and loop fastener completely on the end of the second sleeve, and at the start of the first sleeve. At the robot's shoulder take the 860mm spiral cable wrap. Position the spiral cable wrap so the first 150mm can be inserted in the first sleeve. Insert the wires in the spiral cable wrap. Remove the remaining protective layer of the double-sided tape. Make sure that you apply the wires on top of double-sided tape. Close the second hook and loop fastener completely on the end of the first sleeve. Install an Agasar lock at each end of the cable management system. This will help it work correctly. Use cable ties to attach the tubing and cable to the strain relief part of the mounting brackets. Do not crush the tubing or the cable with the cable ties. Close both brackets. Install the small cover on the side of the column with the provided screws. 